you guys! I hope everyone's having an awesome day today. For today's video, I am watching, I'm continuing the Harry Potter series and watching the fourth Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. What does that mean? Does that mean that there's a drank made of fire? That sounds extremely dangerous. It sounds like there's a really fancy man and there's only fire in such goblet. I don't know what am I even saying right now? I don't know what to think this, about this. With the, all the previous titles, you can sort of guess what the movie is going to be about. This one, I have absolutely no clue. I don't know any of the reviews. I haven't seen any ratings. I am completely clueless when it comes to this film. So we're gonna see how it goes. For some reason, I have a gut feeling there's gonna be a lot of quidditch. I couldn't be wrong, I don't know. Uh, but I have absolutely no prediction about this movie. I have nothing to go off of. I just know that there's gonna be an issue. Harry's gonna solve it and the adults are gonna be like, what, Harry, you're so good, you're so cool. But the movie's always gonna start off with somebody like insulting Harry. So that's kind of the trend we've had with the previous three. I'm, I'm gonna say we're gonna stay going strong with that theme. So we're gonna do that. But before we get into the movie, if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you like the Harry Potter movie so far and that you're going through the series with me. Um, if by the end of the video you do want to see my full length commentary with, it's completely unedited, um, all of my comments, jokes, critiques, everything will be included in the Patreon version. So if you're interested, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. So without further ado, let's get into the fourth Harry Potter movie. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah, there's always a snake. I'm noticing a trend with snakes in the Harry Potter films so far. They don't like, they're not associated to like Voldemort, are they? Or the one that we shall not speak of. Bloody kids. If we were to do it without the boy. No! Oh, this old man's gonna die. Gather our old comrades. tells me the old muggle caretaker is standing just outside the door. I found a cadaver! Of course they killed old man. Harry! Are you alright? Hermione, when did you get here? Just now. Last night. Wake up, Donald! Bloody hell. <laughs> hey, Dad, where are we going? I'm the foggiest. Arthur! This is Amos Diggory, everyone. Robert Pattinson! <laughs> Shall we? Oh, yeah. What's Edward doing here? Is this a crossover with Twilight? What's happening? Why are they all standing around that manky old boot? It's a port key. One, two, hurry! Free! All right, Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Look at him. What is he doing here? I didn't know he was in the Harry Potter movies. Welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. I had one prediction, and that Quidditch would be in this movie. It's like I have a sixth sense with this stuff. Holmes, me toe. That's awesome! How far up are we? We'll put it this way. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Bro, shut up and go brush your hair. I really don't like that. I don't like that at all. Where's Poland? Here come the Bulgarians! Keep that! This is the best thing in the world! Good evening! It gives me great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to the final of the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. 422nd? Sounds like the Irish got their pride on. <laughs> Stop! Why does Harry make Harry's hair make him look look like look like an old British lady? We've got to get out of here now. <laughs> get back to the pub, yeah. everybody. Eaters. <laughs> Harry! How you can lose Harry with hair like that. Like, I would spot him in the crowd. I'd be like, all right, let's find the old British lady. <laughs> Someone just kick Harry in the head? There's no way that's his real hair. More, more. <laughs> what? What? It's you? What's his name? We just watched Jessica Jones. That's gonna keep bother me. Harry! Been looking for you for ages. Oh my god, this old British lady hair. I can't. <sighs> Because if you can't do this, you'll be discovered at the scene of the crime. It's his mark. Death eaters. 
Follow me. I need to remember what his name was. I need to look up the actor's name. It's gonna bother me until I do. David Tennant, that's who he is. I didn't know he was in this movie. That's so exciting. I can't wait to see. I, I like him as an actor. I had no idea he was in Harry Potter. Anything from the trolley days? All of it, Package please. Dribbles. To the pumpkin pasties, please. Anything sweet for you, dear? Just her, please. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. Oh, I love you, Hedwig. Go deliver this. Good job. I'll feed you like seven mice when you get back. You're gonna be so fat and plump. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I'd like to make an announcement. This castle will not only be your home this year, but home to some very special guests as well. <laughs> I love the way he's running. The horse has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Triwizard Tournament. Is it like a tri triathlon? The Triwizard Tournament brings oh, together for three schools for a series of magical contests. From each school, a single student is selected to compete. Welcoming lovely ladies of the Bow Batten's Academy of Magic. They all look like they're in their 20s. Now our friends from the north, please greet the proud sons of Dumbstrang. They're probably all like, who? Rugged. So they would, really what they did was they're like, okay, here's a girl's school. They're gonna, we're gonna make them as feminine as possible. Here's a boy's school. Let's make them as masculine as possible. Albus. <laughs> Albus. I'd like to say a few words. Eternal glory. That is what awaits the student who wins the Triwizard Tournament. But to do this, that student must survive three tasks. For this reason, the Ministry has seen fit to impose a new rule. It's Madame Moody. <laughs> oh my God. He gives me like dirty old solid snake vibes. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament, you only write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. They're gonna sneak it in, people under 17. If chosen, there's no turning back. The Triwizard Tournament has begun. So it's at random, it's not like based off of skill or anything. It's like they could have the most garbage wizard come in and then represent your entire school. Alistair Moody, ex aura and your new defense against the dark arts teacher. We have gone through so many of them at this point. When it comes to the dark arts, I believe in a practical approach. But first, which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. Now, the minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different. You need to know what they're up against. Which curse shall we see first? Weasley! Oh, no. You've been chosen. Give us a curse. The imperious curse. Oh, yeah. How can you be too young to learn about a curse? How bad can it be? Hello. Lovely little beauty. That's a spider. What, what kind of spider are they? Gojo. Imperio! If she bites, she's lethal. <laughs> this is a menace! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Good. I love that. What did I ever do next? Jump out the window? Drown herself? It's a baby. Another. Another. Long bottom, is it? Is it that's the, um, is it the Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! The torture curse. Crucio! Why would you torture this baby? Dude, I hate this. Stop. Stop it! Can't you see us bothering him? Stop it! The amount of stuff you put through that through that, that spider through, you deserve to like give it a- Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. Okay. <laughs> Killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. You gifted it with death? I don't like this. He didn't even know that. He just spilled one of his like secrets in front of a bunch of his classmates. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the champion selection. What if somebody over the age of 17 puts on someone else's name in? What if put, somebody put Dumbledore's name in? Does that mean he has to compete? Just wrecks a bunch of kids? That'd be nice to see. Victor Crump! Yeah! I'm assuming how they choose the person is who is the most qualified. What a feminine name. Tedrick Diggory! Yay! Excellent! We now have our three champions. Only one will go down in history. The Triwizard Cup! That's pretty. I want that. That's like really pretty. Is that a name? Harry Potter. Of course. That's not fair. Hogwarts can have two. No. No. Harry Potter! 
But it's not fair. Now you gotta draw two other names. There's two other places. Harry, I protest. You asked one of the older students to do it for you? No, sir. But of course he is lying. The hell he is. Leave this to your body. Mr. Potter has no choice. How is that possible? I feel like Voldemort did it somehow. I don't know how, but I think he did. How did you do it? I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. You're being stupid. You're being stupid. I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't want eternal glory. I just want to be... I don't know what happened tonight, and I don't know why. It just did. <sighs> Piss off. They're extra moody in this movie. Oh my lord. Hmm. Kind of rude. We need to talk, Harry. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room. <sighs> Tell me about this dream of yours. Voldemort was giving him a job today. And what was that? He wanted me. I mean, it was only a dream, right? His Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. They've been saying that in every movie. People die in this tournament. I'm not ready for this. You don't have a choice. It's Ron. Who are you talking to? Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. Ooh. Amazing. Neville, you're doing it again. Neville, you're being cringe. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. She's right. Ron's being such a wimp. Yeah, I brought the cloak. Hagrid, where are we going? Pay attention. This is important. Hagrid. Oh. The cloak. Put the cloak on. He's gonna watch Hagri go on a date. Try and get it on. I don't like this. I don't like this. Dragon, that's the first task. Poor Ron nearly fainted just seeing them, you know. Ron was here. Didn't Ron tell you that? They're not friends right now. Teenage emotions flaring. <laughs> Can I have a word? All right. Great. Dragons. That's the first task. They've got one for each of us. Are you serious? Hey, babe. Right. Oh, so he's a cool guy. Come with me. That's a fool. Last. Let's me keep an eye on my enemies. That's scary. I didn't bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. What are you going to do about your dragon? Well, you know, I just thought I'd sit. So it's it's like supposed to be a secret, but everybody Loki knows. They'll have a strategy. Come on, Potter. What are your strengths? Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I better than fair the way I heard it. But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a wand. <laughs> Hey, can't wait to see one of our peers die. It's gonna be so great. Good day, champions. Gather round, please. Party, the bag. Champions, in a circle round me. Miss Delacour, if you will. Oh, which dragon? Harry's definitely gonna get the worst one. The Welsh screen, Mr. Crumb. The Chinese fireball. The Swedish short snout. Sleeves. Mm, the worst one. The one that's gonna bite him or something. The Hungarian horn tail. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg, but each egg contains a clue. Try not to die is also a big part of this task. Three of our champions have now faced their dragon, and now our fourth and final contestant. I wish we could have seen um, the others com compete. They should have flown into Draco's room, just destroyed it. Left the dragon in there. Oh, hi. The amount of stru structural damage that is occurring due to this dragon is insane. Go on, Harry, what's the clue? Who wants me to open it? He's trying to hype them up so bad. So, so much. I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the Goblet of Fire. Took you long enough. Hagrid warned me about the dragons. No, I don't remember. I told Hermione to tell you. Seamus never actually told me anything, so it was, it was really me all along. Who, who could possibly figure that out? He's right, though. He is absolutely right. The Yule Ball has been a tradition oh, there's of a the ball. Tri Wizard Tournament. On Christmas Eve night, we and our guests the Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. Now, that's, is this dance class? Oh, okay. Mr. Weasley, will you join me, please? Oh, that's embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. You're never gonna let me forget this, are you? Boys, on your feet! They're so embarrassed. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. I would want the pressure on me. Where am I? Oh, girl. <laughs> Dang! Making the rounds! I won't be going alone because believe it or not, someone's asked me. 
Get wrecked, Ron. And I said yes. Let me guess, it was the guy. Um, Crum. Crum definitely asked Hermione. He's been looking at her. So? Yes? Um, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Well, I've, I've said I'll go for a time. No problem. Teenage heartbreak. Hi, Harry. That's so scary. Hey! Oh, the dresses are beautiful. It's a real ball. I've always wanted to go to an actual ball. What are those? My dress robes. Murder me, Harry. Here you are, Potter. Are you and Miss Patel ready? It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. Surely I told you that. No. Oh, you're well, now you know. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I want to see this. <gasps> Harry, take my waist. This is so nerve wracking. Victor's gone to go and get drinks. She cares to join us. Why is he so spiteful? Be happy for her. You're fraternizing with the enemy. Who was it wanting his autograph? Besides, the whole point of the tournament is to make friends. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Is that such a bad thing? Be happy for her. He can't be happy for her ever. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Poor Hermione. Ron, you spoiled everything. What did he do to Hermione? Why is Ron treating Hermione, Hermione so horribly? Her heart's clearly broken. She wanted him to ask her first. Exactly not as a last resort. She's worth way more than that. You told me you'd figured the egg out weeks ago. Really? I had no idea. Just means these tasks are designed to test you. Potter! Cedric? You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bath. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for the tip. <gasps> what? That's so cool. I want to go to that. Putting it in the water if I were you. Myrtle, did you say try putting it in the water? That's what he did. Well, go on, open it. This is so strange to me because after we saw Moaning Myrtle for the first time, everybody was telling me that she's like 37 years old or 34. <laughs> there aren't mer people in the Black Lake, are there? Took Cedric. Ages. She's so thirsty. Professor McGonagall would like to see you in her office. Not you, Potter, just Weasley and Granger. Now! Longbottom! Why don't you help Potter put his books back? Now, if there's a turnip that will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. We got a key now. Herbology's pretty cool. I feel like Neville's finally beginning to figure out who he is as a person. It's nice. Welcome to the second town. These four treasures, one for each champion, now lie on the bottom of the Black Lake. Each champion need only find their treasure and return to the surface. Her thing looks like a bathing suit. They will have but one hour to do so. You may begin at the start of the cannon. <gasps> That's so awesome. Oh, he got the flippers. <gasps> Are you joking? That's why they're there? They're their loved ones? But he's my friend Twibble. Oh, it's it's him. Hi. That scared me. But they didn't volunteer for this. You stupid toad octopus thing, get lost! <laughs> He's the one that's barely making it. Harry. Yeah. Our seeing is Mr. Potter would have finished first. We've agreed. Reward him second place. Yes! Jacob would be like 
bullying children. I'm sure He's your parents Baca. would be very proud of you today, Potter. Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. And Harry, of course. Soon to be the youngest Triwizard Champion there's ever been! They're like the most popular crew in the entire- in all of Hogwarts. Is he dead? A man has died here, Potter. You must say that I will not. I will not be seen as a coward. Someone died and he's worried about how he- his image? He's worried of looking like a coward? Imagine being so proud uh, and stubborn. I'll be back in a moment. Minister, up to you. Oh, Harry, do feel free to indulge in a little liquor snap in my absence. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see these here. Okay, I got it. You got cocker off. You have been brought from Azkaban at your own request to present evidence to this council. Sir. And what do you wish to present? I have names, sir. Evan Rosier. Rosier is dead. Marty Crouch Jr. <laughs> so it's a pensive. It allows me to see once more things I've already seen. I had a dream about him. In the dream, I was in a house and Voldemort was there. Have there been others like this dream? Always the same one. You don't think it's actually happening do you i think it's unwise for you to linger over these dreams harry i think it's best if you simply cast them away so he's putting his memories into there so they're not in his mind earlier today trivia professor moody placed the triwizard cup deep within the maze first person to touch the cup will be the winner voldemort's gonna be like hiding somewhere in there prepare yourself on the count of three one so we have a murderer wandering the premises let's put the contestants, the champions, in the biggest, most isolating maze ever that will make them question their sanity. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Hope Robert Pattinson doesn't have asthma. I feel like Crumb is just gonna fight the walls if they try anything. It just starts straight up punching him. <laughs> is he not gonna help her? <laughs> Get off me! Wait. Uh, 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 yes. <sighs> I have a gut feeling Voldemort's gonna be like right there, like sitting in his chair. Thanks. No problem. Some game, huh? Go! So there's not really hostility there. I like that. You saved me. Take it. Together. One. Three. three. That's so nice. You okay? Yeah, you. I was prepared to call him a grease ball if he didn't let Harry have it. I've been here before. Support key. Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. Ah! Oh, Harry, what is- Get back to the cup! Ew! Why does Voldemort look- Voldemort look like a baby? Who are you? What do you want? Avada Kedavra! No! Rick! No way! <gasps> Yeah, put the put the baby in the bath. A disgusting, stinky baby. This is gross. Servant. It's gonna cross her. Not the enemy, forcibly. Taken. The Dark Lord shall rise again. Bro, Voldemort couldn't tell you to get like a a wig or hair implants or anything. He has this craziest hair I've ever seen. Like one strand on the top and then around. And what is he a xenomorph? My wand worked out. He has better manicured hands than me. Welcome, my friend. Thirteen years it's been. Not one of you tried to find me. <laughs> Not even you, Lucius. What? I return out of fear, not loyalty. Don't touch him! <laughs> oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here. The boy who lived. Things have changed. I can touch you. This is gross. I don't like this. Get a one, Potter! You've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? He's trying to 1v1 a 14-year-old. Dumbledore wouldn't want you to forget your manhood. <laughs> His ego has been challenged. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. Get up! The wrong place at the wrong time. Harry Potter hasn't done anything wrong. Don't you turn your back on me! 
If someone was ever trying to kill me and they wouldn't shut up, I would be mocking them non-stop. I'd be one of the annoying people to kill. Have it your way. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. Oh, this is parents? Take my body back, will you? Cedric. Oh, he really died? No, oh, I thought there was a way for him to... This is awful. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. It's all right. That's my son! It's my boy! It's all right. I got you. Wow, we got Robert Pattinson in one movie and we got taken out in the same movie. I was really excited to have him join the cast. That's upsetting. What was it like to stand in his presence? It was like I'd fallen into one of my dreams. In the graveyard were there others? I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. Sussy. Marvelous creatures, dragons, aren't they? Did you think that miserable oaf would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it? Do you think Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it? It's all been him. He's manipulated all of it. Yeah. Imagine how he will reward me. I have once and for all silenced the great Harry Potter. <laughs> Are you asking Moody? No. Is he in this room? Oh, he's probably in, he's been in there for weeks, probably. You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Albus. Apologies, Persian. <laughs> Barty Crouch, Jr. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Lord Voldemort has returned. A little. <laughs> Why is that so funny? In light of recent events, the bonds of friendship we made this year will be more important than ever. And Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. And we'll celebrate a boy who was brave, true, right to the very end. He was good. He really was. When I was in the graveyard, there was a moment when Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Priori and cantatum. Dark and difficult times lie ahead. But remember this. You're not alone. No, no. This is my end. Right to me. It's nice to see so many different types of wizards. I also didn't know there were so many different types of wizards. But to see them all kind of, not all of them, but some of them come together and overlap and the different cultures and languages, it's... It's good. It's like meeting international students, hosting them. I really liked that. That was pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad they did that. And it also opens up the wizarding world a bit more for us to know that there's more. Everything is going to change now, isn't it? Yes. I promise you'll write this summer. You know I won't. Harry will, won't you? Yeah, every week. <laughs> <sighs> Just drowned everyone again. So that was a lot to take in. I don't know, that made me super anxious. That was a lot darker and worse than the other previous Harry Potter movies. So I just finished watching the fourth Harry Potter film for the very first time. I didn't know what this entire movie was going to be about, but this is not what I expected. I didn't expect that it was going to be like a competition of the top wizards. That concept I really liked because that's really good for the students and kind of building them as people to kind of expose them to different cultures and to different people and to make new friends. I find, I find that this, it really focused, let's say, on coming of age and you know everybody's sort of maturing into adults you know they really had a lot of like partner influences like male female like puberty and i think it's maybe to ease potential future relationships in the future into the story that's the only thing i can come up with other than that i found that the cinematography of this movie as well as the plot i did enjoy i thought it was really good this was so far the saddest one i teared up because i really liked cedric i loved his character he was always very polite to harry and just a understanding kind individual so i feel like we don't have enough of those at Hogwarts, everybody just seemed to have their own hidden agenda or very be they're very opinionated whether it be due to like their upbringing their families no one's like really chill there so it was nice to have a character like cedric i really like robert pattinson playing him i wish we kind of saw a bit more of him he was really good but other than that i really did like this movie 
I felt like they definitely incorporated new themes that were never seen before. This is also the darkest film. I don't know if I can handle more deaths because I know deaths are incoming. The background of the teachers, like Snape's, a little bit of Snape's past and such. So it's kind of nice to see the rounding of people's characters and how they fit into the story. Like the, the background, you're, you're seeing how there are characters and I'm really digging that a lot. So I'm, I'm more, this one was definitely more Voldemort leaning towards. We actually met him, he is officially out. Harry has met him and he clearly has like a grudge against this boy that he tried to 1v1 a 14 year old. This man has some ego issues. He is clearly not well and he's gonna stop at nothing. And he has some very loyal followers. And we found out that Draco's dad was one of his main followers. I didn't expect that. I did not see that coming at all. So it's gonna, this is gonna change a lot of stuff in the future. And I'm really curious. And I wonder if Draco is almost gonna disagree with his dad, whether he's gonna side with his dad in the future, not believe what people are saying. So I, I gotta say that this was a really good movie. This was very similar to, to the last film in terms of how much I liked it. I think I liked this one more, but maybe by like 1%, but I had a lot of fun watching it and I hope you guys did as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you will continue watching the Harry Potter saga with me. Thank you guys so much, bye. bye.